Manuel Danotti, it's uh, today with us at uh, yes, with this another conversation, another, another talk with uh, another artist that was presented at the first edition at Loop, of Loop Expanded at National Museum of Contemporary Art in Lisbon. Um, thank you so much, Emmanuel, to join us and to uh, participate at this uh, uh, round of talks with the artists that are presented at this first edition of this important festival uh, with our partners. Thank you for inviting me. Emmanuel, the, the, the work that you are presented at, uh, at, uh, at Lisbon, at the National Museum of Contemporary Art, was Santa Maria. Um, and it was a part of a trilogy, very interesting, that uh, was uh, consistent with uh, so many of your works that uh, uh, um, um, reflect about the normalization of violence. This is, to me, the, the, the things that I read about your work is something that was, uh, for me, this is a very strong concept, a very strong theme, uh, that I think that you uh, uh, mixed marvelous, uh, marvelous and with a very, com very deep complexity with the technique of the video and particularly with the loop. Uh, what I, my first question is precisely, uh, how do you think that the, the, the characteristics of the loop and of the video techniques um, are important in your language to this uh, discourse about and, and to this reflection about the violence uh, in, in our society today, um, especially in, in, in concerning the human relationships? Well, uh, everything started with the, the first work that is called Santa Teresa. Mm -hmm. And Santa Teresa comes after the, uh, the reading of a, a book from Roberto Bolaño. Mm -hmm. 2,666, and especially uh, refers to the chapter in which Bolaño talked about, uh, talks about uh, the feminicide in the north of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So in, at that period, in 2016, in Italy, uh, every day in the newspaper and in the news on TV, you can, um, they, they talked about uh, rapes. Mm -hmm. So uh, it becomes something normal for a person. I was shocked about seeing my mother working in the kitchen with the television on and not noticing that the television was talking about um, a so really, that's, really that's extreme violence. Yeah. rape. Yeah. So I ask myself, uh, uh, how can I talk about something like that? And especially regarding the um, feminicide in North Mexico mm -hmm. that uh, is about uh, a thousand young women, women yeah. that were killed. So how can I talk with, um, in, a audio, uh, in a video artwork about 1,000 uh, women. And I thought that the, the loop is something that can help me to achieve this kind of work. So the, this repetition can help me to 
uh, work on something that is impossible to show because mm -hmm. it's really impossible to show mm -hmm. uh, the extreme violence that happened in in Mexico and that is still happening. And in that particular uh, work, I was talking about Mexico, but it's a violence that is happening all over the world, even in in country where the uh, situation uh, it's let's say a little bit better and, and then I start this cycle that is uh, focused on the normal uh, then the processes that are uh, um, the processes of normalization of violence and also a reflection on the loop itself mm -hmm. because in the work that you selected for uh, uh, loops uh, loops expanded I try to uh, go outside the, the normal way in which we see mm -hmm. a loop, trying to create an infinite, infinite loop, yeah, merging yes, three yeah. different images. And I think what is very interesting, it is this kind of make, make visible something that was so monstrous, that is uh, very, very, um, very difficult to, to show in images and, and, and to represent that. Um, but it seems to me that this, this, uh, this trilogy um, are, is also uh, um, uh, very well constructed in, in technical terms. In, in, in you not, you're not use properly the, the, the mechanisms of the cinema. Uh, but you are very, very concerned with the, with the, with the techniques and the, with the, with the, um, with the artifacts of the video himself. And it seemed to me that it's very important. So that there are so many artists that are so anxious to uh, put the cinema in 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 the, in the museum and in, in the installations. And you are the opposite. You are very concerned with the video techniques, with the video uh, environment. Um, and the video installations, we'll talk a little more about that uh, further. Um, and this importance of video and the techniques of video uh, uh, in, your, in your work seems to me very, very uh, important and, and very um, accurate to uh, expand also uh, the pertinence of your, of your teams. Uh, the other thing that is 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 is, is interesting that you 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 are all uh, in in these three works in this trilogy, uh, referring or or making some some appointments and some references to to writers to to or, or thinkers, Santa Maria to the, the one of the great uh, Uruguayan uh, writers uh, Juan Carlos Onetti. Um, Bolano, as you referred in, in Santa Teresa, and in San Nepomuceno, uh, I was <laughs> a little bit surprised because you you referred that uh, you are uh, um, uh, working that uh, from the aphorisms of Emil Cioran, um, and is the, the, a kind of author that it seems to me. Uh, uh, a little uh, uh, outside of this, this uh, another two authors, uh, Bolano or Onetti, that were uh, uh, writers with uh, with with a work that uh, uh, is between the reality and the fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, but Chioran is is an nihilist, is a pessimist, is a uh, is is really a. a uh, a philosopher of of uh, of some of uh, of the, the, the disparate uh, times, uh, um, are concer uh, his concerns are very very uh, strong and very negative. So, uh, what do you think about uh, about uh, uh, make reference to Emil Kioran in this in this uh, in this trilogy and uh, the, his importance? Well, uh, I really grew up with uh, Choran, so I think it's one of my main reference. And what I think it's uh, something that these three writers have in common, it's the 
the wish to create uh, a world, so to work on atmospheres. Joran mm -hmm. do it in a total um, have done it in a total different way because he is a philosopher. He, he was a philosopher, uh, but then I think that the let's say the pessimistic or nihilistic way of thinking of Chur of Churan it's really connected to the way of thinking of um, uh, Onetti that is for me some kind of a uh, uh, of the dark side of mm -hmm. uh, Borges for mm -hmm. example and I um, I see a lot of um, this kind of dark pers perspective also in some uh, background characters of the work of Bologna. So this is something that is really fa fascinating me, this uh, noir uh, aspects of their work. Mm -hmm. And um, referring especially to Choran, um, I really like his um, very lucid way of thinking about human being it's some kind like is not involved in being a human being and that's why his uh, thoughts are so uh, strong to me because he um, achieved to uh, talk about human being like from uh, a perspective that is I don't want to say universal, but it's some kind outside from the from humanity. Mm -hmm. And but do you think this Chiaran is, is is from from your uh, our thought is 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 thought is thought I'm sorry is thought is is from a very very precise moment in in the occidental history also. Uh, do you think that today uh, and you and you and your work uh, your contemporary work do you feel that some of these these uh, these uh, big themes like uh, dead violence resurrection resurrection um, um, the, 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 a certain nihilism of of the existence um, do, you, do, do, you, do you think that in your work this is an important metaphor about the contemporary times? I don't think it's a metaphor of contemporary time, but I really think that we have to rejoin our relationship with death and our relationship with violence, because in some kind of way, uh, these are themes that were for a lot of time outside of the discourse of contemporary mm -hmm. art or uh, art in general. And I think it's really important to try to find a new way to think about this theme because to hide them, it's something that can be really, really dangerous. That's why I, I really like his way on uh, looking at human being because it's really important for us to to uh, know what it's happening around us i mean when choran was my age in europe uh were uh the there were the the second world war so mm -hmm. it was really a hard time but now in China, for example, is happening the same. So I don't think that, mm, that, that at that time that themes were really important or more important than now. Mm -hmm. I think that if you, if you talk about universal themes like that, like the death or human being or our behavior or uh, religion, ideologies and Ex uh, existential themes uh, are always important. And in present, every, yes, and present yeah, in, in, in some, present. Some, so many periods of the history of art also. It, it seems to me that uh, there is always a, a, a presence uh, very, very strong and very, very pertinent in, in, in many, many movements, many artists. Um, 
one 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 aspect of your work also that seems to me very interesting is the the this this um, um, privilege that you give to the night to the ambience of the night uh, in all all your uh, almost of of your projects um, the, the the association with this with this theme that you have already spoke uh, the fear the death the violence are are evident. Um, but even for for your research, you say that you 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 work a lot at night. You work a lot uh, in this kind of ambience and atmospheres. Um, can you talk a little bit about this and how important is this uh, experience that you have uh, in this in these uh, ambiences to 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 build your work? Yeah, for sure. Um, let's say that it's something that is really organic to me because I tend to live at night mm -hmm. since I was born. I really, okay. <laughs> I'm a night person. So <laughs> okay. that was the first thing. And then um, I started to work in, at night also for money mm -hmm. as a bartender, okay. something like that. So for me it was, very normal this kind of shift uh, mm -hmm. and uh, to stay up all night and then uh, my first love was with the street lamps i really like the way they um, mm -hmm. il illuminate the streets and um, i really like the uh, contraposition of cold lights and mm -hmm. uh, warm light that you can find in a lot of cities and especially in Milan, I, 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 I was born uh, and uh, grew up in Milan, <coughs> in Italy. And uh, in the suburbs of Milan, the street lamps are, street lamps are really uh, a kind of a character. And okay. uh, something else that is really mm, present in, in that place is the fog. And if you mix okay. fog mix the two, with yeah. the lights, mm -hmm. something really, uh, really cool happen if we talk about images. Mm -hmm. So that that's what that was my my first uh, uh, let's say my first love, the fascination fascination of uh, the street lamps and fog, and then all the uh, artists. Uh, um, especially in cinema and in literature that I really liked, <clears throat> were also fascinated by, uh, by night. So uh, I grew up with this kind of uh, atmospheres. Yeah. yeah. For example, one uh, also to talk about something that you mentioned before about my technical um, <clears throat> love to the video. Uh, one of my main references, if, if we talk about cinema, is uh, Pedro Costa. Oh, okay. I had the fortune to, to <laughs> yes, of course. have it as a master, and it's really one of my mm -hmm. masters. And we talk a, a lot uh, about um, the possibility that video gives to you, because mm -hmm. cinema, and especially if we talk about film, uh, um, gives you a precise uh, time. You have to uh, shoot something when you are really, really sure about what you're shooting because the film costs a lot. And video is the opposite. Yeah. It can give you a lot of time, can give more you... We have more liberty of experimentation and uh, of, yeah. of course... And for sure to work with, with the people that are working with you because you know mm -hmm. if you uh, video and cinema it's something that you do with a lot of other people even if you are a video artist and you can mm -hmm. work alone because I don't have a big crew and I don't like to work with a big crew mm -hmm. but you work with person and I usually work with non-professional non 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 artists, artists. Actors. Okay. so if you want to work with them and get the best from what they can do, you have to take time. Yes, that's really course. important. Mm -hmm. And to end, uh, also something that it's really important to me is that I, I'm uh, some kind of a digital native, 
So I really want to work with the matter that is our matter that is not film. Uh, I understand the fascination that I have a lot of artists for uh, film, but I'm, I grew up with, uh, with yes, digital. With, with other, media, other references, media. of course. Yeah. And, and that's why that, that also, uh, it seems to me this, this very, very important in, in the, you are now uh, in, in this year, to, to, to 2021, in, um, in the developing a virtual project in Art Taipei. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is uh, happening I, uh, even with uh, with the pandemic. Uh, I hope. I hope. You hope. It will be, okay. it will be in, in in the summer. Okay. I will be there for uh, three months. I hope. But okay. It's really difficult now to, to yeah. make plans. To make to make to make to make to to make provisions about. Yeah. To, to, yeah. But but uh, even so, the, the thing that seems to me also very 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 important in your work is is the the um, uh, the important the importance that you give to the atmosphere and to give with your ins video installations the sense of atmosphere to the to the uh, um, to the viewers. Uh, to the spectators, um, you have several projects in this in this in this sense. Um, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Cuento de Santa Maria is is has some different versions. Um, mm -hmm. One of them is uh, with the uh, virtual reality. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's 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 const, const, uh, built with the with the virtual reality system. Um, Two sixty degrees video. Yeah, and uh, you have another version of Quarto de Santa Maria with uh, an installation with where where the, the people that don't smoke are not allowed to 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 be there and to. Yeah, that one to... was the Un Quarto de Santa Maria. <laughs> Un Quarto de Santa Maria. Installation that I've done in Uruguay. Uruguay, okay. So, did you, yeah, and and also in this in this uh, virtual projects, uh, this expanded reality that you are, it seems to me very interested also. Um, the the but the loop, the infinity, uh, the, the 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 infinity of the meaning is is always present. Is this true? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. For me, uh, the loop is really. Beca uh, become uh, uh, a team. It's something that I want to to develop mm -hmm. uh, as much as I can because I uh, I ended up to work uh, with the loop because at the beginning I really mm, uh, don't understood why. Uh, videos that are narratives or that are uh, that have a beginning and a, a, and and uh, an end are in loop because if you want to show something that uh, that is a, a that, that has his own timeline i think that it's stupid if someone uh, get in in a moment that it's not the the right moment i mean right if moment, you want yeah. to show something so that's why I, I, I thought about maybe there is a, a way to work with the loop that is more interesting because the possibility mm -hmm. that you have with a loop are really a lot. Yeah. For example, in Santa Maria and in uh, uh, Santa Teresa, if you get in in, uh, in a moment <clears throat> or in another moment, it's totally different the way that you perceive the work. Yeah. That's why uh, that that's one of the the most interesting thing uh, mm -hmm. of a loop, and now I'm especially um, working on the form of the loop because we tend to see the loop as a, uh, circle, a circle or maybe an infinite. Mm -hmm. But then everything that has a form can be a loop, and it's a loop yeah. itself. So yeah. that's why it's really interesting for me because you can have a lot of different forms. And if you add um, space in it, you have another way to expand the loop. If you have if a, you percep add... a perception of space, of tri-dimensionality, tri yeah. the, the concept of loop will be expanded also. And then the... 
That's of it. Course. And also with music, for example, in Santa Maria, mm -hmm. there is also yeah, uh, the music is uh, very important. Right? Yes. Yeah, that is a loop is itself. It's a song from mm -hmm. um, Violeta Parra, mm -hmm. and it's also a loop. And mm -hmm. so in that work, you have three different video loop and a audio yeah. loop yeah. that that have a, a relation that change every time and mm -hmm. it's unpredictable and mm -hmm. i really liked in that work the way that the work is a little bit chaotic yeah and that i i don't have a total control in the work and i i don't know what can happen in uh 24 hour yeah of course uh, but it, it seems to you that uh, do you think that this this ambient installations that you have, have already uh, made like italians lost in italy for example also um can you talk us a little bit more about this project also uh, uh yeah. italians lost in italy yeah uh Italians lost it, in it, it. It's also, I'm sorry, it's also a, a, um, an installation, a video installation. It's an ambient installation, ambient with, a, installation. With, with also a video okay. yeah, uh, that I developed uh, during a, resin, a, re, <coughs> a residency in the Mass Museum mm -hmm. in, in Italy. And um, there I, I was working on uh creating a uh, some kind of uh, dystopian future because mm -hmm. as you or, uh, already mentioned one of my main mission main goal it's to create uh, atmospheres so to create an ambient it's really uh, helpful if you want the visitors the viewers to enter your world and try to collaborate with you. Mm -hmm. So there I, I was in a beautiful villa near Milano and uh, I create an ambient that uh, was uh, a version of a house the day after, let's say, the uh, disappearing of the Italia Peninsula. Okay after a catastrophe let's say so there i work with uh, different mediums i work with uh, video and was a, a video installation with also uh, uh, some paintings on the wall and uh, there was a, a collaboration with the paintings and the video okay. because uh, the pain, paintings was uh, with a special pigment that can be activated by light with, uh, yeah with the light okay. so the work the video work was divided uh, mm -hmm. by uh, moments of black mm -hmm. black screen and during the light part of the video uh, the uh, the wall paintings activate themselves activate also it makes another, the another layer movement. of, of uh, yeah of, um, and then one uh, other important parts of the installation were uh, um, a sound um, soundscape mm -hmm. that was something really important to create the atmosphere because i uh, create a soundscape that uh, um, that in, let's say impersonate uh, the moment where Italy will uh, sink into yeah. into okay. the Mediterranean. Okay, into the water. Yeah. Very well, Emmanuel. Well, I think thank you so much for for uh, this talk. I think that we have. Uh, uh, a very good uh, panorama of your work and um, I'm very pleased that you can be showing at the National, National Museum of Contemporary Art in Lisbon. I hope that you can uh, have a successful uh, um, career 
as artist as an artist and uh, i hope that you meet uh, again in 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 some some city perhaps in lisbon <laughs> okay yeah, thank and you very much the project it was really uh, an honor for me to show my work so in the museum and yeah hope thank to you, meet manuel okay yeah. good luck and uh, be safe bye-bye you, you too bye-bye bye-bye